FL Studio 2025 is around the corner and we already have access to the beta version, so let's take a look at some new and exciting features. First and probably the biggest feature is the new loop starter mode. So if we click this button, it's gonna get us a starter loop for our song. We can also change the genre. So we have EDM selected and it's gonna take some drums, a melody loop, a bass and some top loops in that genre from FL Cloud and it's gonna give you a starting point for your track. So right now we have this. If we click randomize, it's gonna give us a new idea. So this is nice if you have writer's block. Let's try like hip hop. can lock some of these so let's say I like the melody and I like the percussion but I don't like the drums so we can either just randomize the drums or we can randomize all of these so we have some one shots as well and I'm gonna change the drums and then we can start adding the one shots in and as you can see there's this new mode which is this loop mode so anytime you add a one shot in this part of your channel rack it's also going to copy it over infinitely as long as the loop is playing let's get a different snare so it's pulling the samples from FL Cloud, but I don't even have the subscription active, so I'm not sure how that works, whether this is for free or it's only free in the beta. But of course, you can also put in your own drum samples. So I'm going to go to my sample packs, staple sounds, and let's get some cool snares right here. And of course we can edit these samples as well, so maybe lower the pitch. Add some hi-hats. Just like so. Also now you can actually right-click the hi-hat for example and do autofill and it's gonna create a hi-hat pattern that fits within this genre. As you can hear, it also changes the velocity and the note pitch as well. So it can adjust that as well. If you click it again, it's going to create a different one. We can auto fill the open hi hat. And now there is also this advanced fill and sort of manually set this up so it's exactly how you want it. So if you want to do offbeat and you can also set the rhythm here if you do manual and sort of create a rhythm and it will repeat itself. Which is nice but of course you can turn off the loop mode and then you have your standard channel rack set up. So the snares will no longer repeat. Now let's generate a new one for drum and bass. Okay, let's try techno. And what I want to do is add my own sample in there. So of course you can change this to your samples as well. To our own. And if you are satisfied, you can press this button and it's going to put it into the playlist. Pretty cool, I would say. And of course, if you want some great sample packs, check out Staple Sounds, which is my sample pack platform where you only pay once and you get unlimited access to all of our sample packs for a lifetime. So no monthly payments, you just pay once and you get all of our packs and all the new packs whenever they are released. So check it out, link is below. We have something for every genre. And if you use the code ARCADE15, you'll get 15% off on your purchase. But now let's take a look at some more new features. So another new feature is Deaver. So if you have a sound 
sound that has too much reverb, like an audio file, we can actually remove the reverb from it. So we have this loop. And I'll click on it and choose Dverb. We're gonna do voice and let's press OK. And now let's hear how it sounds. We can do something in the middle as well. So before. And now. Yeah, I would say it works pretty well. So some new plugins were added as well, including the Emphasis, which is like a compressor. Apparently it keeps all the audio pretty clear while retaining the loudness. And also I think a little bit more exciting for me is that they added the FL Studio Mobile rack so we can get all the effects from the FL Studio Mobile on PC as well. So basically you have this rack and you can keep adding new plugins into it from FL Studio Mobile. Most of these are probably similar to your FL Studio plugins but it's still a little bit different, so it feels like a bunch of new plugins to me. What interested me the most is actually the Autodeck plugin, which is like a Kickstarter plugin, so it's a sidechaining plugin, but we don't have a dedicated sidechaining plugin in FL Studio other than Grossbeat, but not in this way where you just set up the decking motion and then you are good to go, so that's pretty cool. So we can set it up similar to Kickstart. Now our sidechaining should be working. <laughs> compare it to kickstart you know you can create it pretty much the same shape as the kickstart plugin and of course you can experiment with that as well so there is a panning as well but yeah there is a bunch of new little plugins in here that might not be in FL Studio itself. And last but not least we have some updates to the chord generator so let's take a piano go to piano roll Generate chord progression. And of course, this is all in 2024 FL Studio as well. But they did add a baseline performance. So now you can change the baseline with some presets. funky baseline. Pretty cool. So these are some new updates in FL Studio 2025, which will come out this year, but you can already access the beta. I will link it in the description. And of course, if you are interested in my sample packs and getting some great samples, drum loops, presets, check out Staple Sounds. Link is below as well. Use code arcade15 to get $15 off. So this was a short update video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.